What is up you guys? Welcome back to Nick Bailey Spearfishing and today is Bahamas 2023 baby. You yeah, Let's go. We checked out the radar and it's a little bit terrifying. So we're hoping that we can uh, thread the needle and get there before that. Break out the jackets. We got some storm action going on over there. Dylan's first trip over. Buddy's never been. Yes, sir. He has no idea what's going to happen. He's already wearing sweatpants. No foul weather gear. <laughs> Sebastian's northerner. Pretty sure he's a crabber. <laughs> We made it, boys. Yeah. You. Check this water out. Oh my God. Sebastian, what do you think of this? <laughs> Tight. Tight. Lock in, I expect big let's things go. from you. Let's go, let's go. Get your friends on, everyone's ready but you. Nice pole, Jay, what are you shooting? Nice ballast. New pole, trying it out. All right, let me know how it goes. What'd you oh, get? Nice one, yeah, buddy. <laughs> Come here. What do you got, first fish of the trip? <laughs> Here, hand me the pulse beer. <laughs> nice job, they Ask yeah. I had Dude, that's the sashimi, bro. That's the sashimi right there. It's my turn to get in the water, and I see a mid-column dog snapper. So I dive on it really slowly, and I kind of just follow it down for a minute. I'm expecting him to go into a hole, or maybe just turn broadside and give me a shot, but he ended up swimming directly under me, and I was luckily already loaded up, and I hit that spine. Bro, mid column dog snapper. Yeah. <laughs> this is Dylan's first ever Bahamas trip, and here he is lining up on a nice AJ. Gets that stone shot. We were really glad that he spined that thing because otherwise we would have been dragged around for quite some time trying to find this thing. But we ended up giving it to our local friends and they made some really cool stuff with it. <laughs> Yo, nice job! Here's Dylan on the bottom, slowly approaching a school of Schoolmaster Snapper. You'll see he loads his pole spear very slowly and starts just casually swimming over towards the entire giant school. Finally finds a pretty big target right here. Clips off an awesome shot. For Dylan's first time in the Bahamas, I was pretty impressed. Here's Jason. He didn't give me any notice, but uh, here's him going down on a nice Nassau Reaper. He ends up sticking a shot, and he retrieves it in one dive, which I'm always trying to do with these Nassaws, because if you don't, they'll open up their gills and get really stuck in the hole. Nice one, bro. Hell yeah. Big Nassau. Show you guys how we did. As you guys saw, kind of loaded the box down a little bit. Kind of loaded the box down. Nothing crazy, but we did have some fun. I'm putting another rod right now. See if we can't get took on the fish pole. There he is. In the rod holder, baby. Yo. Maybe that's what you gotta do right there. What do you think it's say, Bass? It's a goddamn ball What do you got? What do you got? Oh, nice, oh, nice yeah. little strawberry action. That, that'll eat. <laughs> yeah, wait, that is kind of a nice one. That's an eater, baby. Yeah, buddy. Show Ooh. Dylan that strawberry. All right, rigging up a couple patties right here. You know, you know what's going on. You know what's going on. We got the grill action going. Came out to a random spot, and uh, I guess it's producing right now. Double dot, double dot. That one. Oh, yeah, buddy. Nice little tipper. Low on, low on. No, that's average, right? That's going straight to Craig. That's a one. What? Two tip? Oh, nice one. Oh. Double dop. We thought we were good, but uh, what happened, Jay? Put her in gear, change in some deep drop spots. Fuck, <laughs> 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 Bitch blew up. Oh, we blew an engine. So yeah, we just blew an engine. Um, 
I, I guess we're gonna continue deep dropping. Dylan, you still got them on or what? Oh yeah, Little burger action going. Look at the seasoning on those, bro. Jay put me on. Catching them up. Dylan. Oh, going okay, and chilling. And uh, yeah, we blew a motor. So it looks like our trip is uh, pretty much screwed, so. So what happened was we stripped the gears on the drive shaft. And that's not something that we're gonna be able to fix here. So we've actually come to the consensus that we're gonna keep this trip going. There's no reason to let this cut our whole trip short. We're gonna get towed home in a few days, but I think the best case scenario, we just putz around, stay close and shoot a bunch of fish and still have a blast. So we're not gonna let this ruin our trip. Let's go to bed and get ready to go crush it tomorrow. All right, yesterday we shot a couple fish. Now, so I might need to cook a little up for breakfast. Got a little bit of a late start because it is blowing offshore right now. And uh, I think we're gonna try to hit some little bit protected reef, some uh, coral heads and stuff. Got a little Mexican ice going. Pro tip, two bucks at Publix. Absolutely goes ham. A little bacon. Shh. Bacon? Lights real, out, bro. Real. Make a little taco action. Oh yeah. Those breakfast breakfast fish tacos, dude. You can't go wrong. You cannot go wrong. What do you guys think? Oh, real. One bite. Everyone knows the rules. What's the rating? Mm. I'd say. Day four. Eight, eight seven. Eight seven. Eight, seven. <laughs> so you drive like three hours for this? I already did. <laughs> Hopefully we can get out there today as well. Shoot a couple more fish and uh, do well. So we'll see you guys out there. About to go get in the water. Let's go get some groupers. Today was ridiculously murky. Line up a little shot on this mutton and just pff, absolutely wax them right there. Followed a stud NASA into this hole and you'll just have to watch and see what happens. Remember how I was saying how hard it is when these fish rock up because their gills open up. Notice how I just grabbed him. I just grabbed him wrong and he comes right out of my hands and goes straight back down to the bottom. There's a shark in there and now we're gonna have to retreat. Jason had just attempted to grab him and he lost his fin. Then Dylan came down and was able to grab him, so I snatched Jason's fin as I watched him. Hey, thank you, Dylan. That's a giant. Right after Sebastian grabbed mine, Dylan mentioned that he saw another Nassau. So I decided to go down and film behind him. This is one of Dylan's first times using his pole spear again. So he doesn't really know the range perfectly. He's probably in range right about now. And he's in range, in range, in range, in range, and finally he takes a shot over here. But the problem was it was too close to the hole, so immediately the Nassau locked its gills in there and he was not able to get him right then. So he came up and I went and helped him out just a minute later. You never really know how bad the Nassaus are gonna lock up their gills, but sometimes it can be really challenging to retrieve them. I noticed that the Dyneema is way to the right and that's typically a pretty bad sign. Uh, if they can cross a corner, it can be really, really hard, but luckily I was able to kind of use some brute force and get this thing out in one dive. I forgot to turn my camera on, but I did barely get Jason shooting his dog snapper right there, and we had a sweet double up, so I was pretty pumped on that. We went back into a little bit of murky water, but Jason is slowly approaching this mutton snapper. Ends up clipping off an awesome shot. Dylan's safetying him right there, and I'm kind of watching out for sharks. Look over, and of course there's one immediately. So I approach him, and I'm like, all right, I'll shoot right under him and I'll spook him. That's exactly what happened. 
that was enough murky water for me again so went back out into the deep and found a nice hog just hanging out next to this little Nassau waited for the broadside and boom clipped off a perfect shot almost and he comes right off <laughs> see a bunch of blood came out right there and he holed up but it was no worries because a couple dives later I found him completely dead in this hole load up the pole kind of look around for a second but finally find him right here clipped off a good shot and when I pull him out I mean you'll be able to see he's completely bled out so I was pumped because that was a nice hog Little hog bone. It's an eater all day. Yo. Guys, you guys saw that was sick. The diving today was just awesome. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't get to run very far because you know we're kind of limping on one engine. We're gonna head in now and eat a ton of fish. I'm really stoked to get out there tomorrow, so we'll have to see you guys in the morning. Good morning, guys. We're headed out and uh, we don't really know exactly what to expect today. We want to give a bunch of our friends some fish on the island. Um, try to do that pretty much every day. But hopefully today we can get a whole bunch because I really want to hook some people up. Crystal clear today. Best conditions by far with this light and everything. So we have a pretty good chance of killing some fish. Wish us luck. So far on this trip we've got plenty of grouper and snapper. So now it's about time we go after some hogfish. Yeah. Dylan takes a pretty aggressive approach right here. He hits that hogfish, but it does take off because it was a little bit of a longer shot. Sebastian's videoing and the thing takes off. Jason ended up sticking it under a rock off video and he makes an attempt to grab it right here, but you can see his gas from probably chasing it into that hole. It is a stud though, so definitely the biggest of the trip. It was now my turn to dive, and I watched this hogfish hole up, finally found him in this hole, and bam, clip him right there, right in the face. Freaks out a little bit, but I pull him out. And that was my stud, so I was pretty stoked on that. That one ended up weighing in at nine and a half pounds. Ha <laughs> ha 
Boy! That is a jumbo! Yeah, dude, we thought you missed! Oh my god, I'm so stoked! Right pull, got it done, boy! Dylan! Boy! Dude, that's a stun! <laughs> Give me a hug! Oh, he's pumped, boy! Dude, that's a killer! Had such a sick day today, as you guys saw. I could not believe how many fish there were around. Check this out. Oh, all iced out. What a cool way to end the trip. So sick, that yellowfin on sling. Can't beat that. We'll see you guys in the morning.